good. To all my subscribers and um, those who would be able to view this EBIR Forms tutorial, um, welcome to the channel Claire Decides to Vlog. Kung may marinig kayong background ng pusa, nakakulong ang pusa ko kasi this guy's giba. Sakuragi, stop yelling. So for this illustration, we will be uh, showing you how to do, how to file um, no payment filing or zero filing. So usually this happens when for example, in a certain month, wala kang expenses or um, purchases if you are engaged in business. But, um, or if you are um, a professional, wala kang expenses for the month. But that doesn't happen regularly. So this is almost um, a one-off, but you have to learn how to do it. Kasi if mangyari sa business mo or in your profession, in your practice of your profession na wala kang uh, expenses incurred, uh, you will have to do a zero, zero filing or no payment filing. Why is this important? Kasi once um, in your certificate of registration, this is equivalent to the expanded withholding taxes. Ang expanded withholding taxes, um, this is filed monthly. In January, in the first two months of the quarter, so a quarter, a isang quarter, if you're on a calendar year, starts with a January. And if you're on a fiscal year, ang start ng fiscal year mo is the month following your fiscal year and close. A fiscal year and close is any month ending February, no, January to November. The calendar always ends in December. Ayan. So for example, um, in a month, wala kang, ah, wala kang purchases and expenses, then uh, you will still have to file this. Um, what's the rationale behind this? Kailang mo tong file kasi if you do not, even if you don't have any purchases or expenses for the month, um, when magraran na ang BIR, ang collection ng o open cases list, kasama to dahil hindi mo final. So what you will have to do is to just file it um, with a zero amount. So this is what we call no payment filing or zero filing. So let's start. For the, uh, as we speak, I'm doing this now. Ang date ng calendar ngayon is April 24. So, ideally, in sa monthly na filing, this is due on the 10th. So, itong pinafile ko ngayon, if ever this is for March, this is already late. But this is only for illustration purposes. So, um, for the month of March, yan. Month 3 is the month of March. But, like I said, kung fiscal year and close ka, hindi ito magiging... I know it will it will still be the same kasi regardless naman to dun magma-matter yun sa mga quarterly anyway so it's due on April 10 and then careful kayo dito kasi kung magsasabi kayo na withhold ng taxes dapat meron kayong input dito but dahil ano tayo no payment filing then we click no in number 4 number 5 um ATC but holding expanded on WE. Tapos, RDO code, blah, blah, blah. Yung ibang data pala dito, like from number 7 to number 10A, number 11, this is populated dun sa main page. Ginawa mo tong EBR forms mo. So, category of withholding agent, I'm private. And then dahil I selected here, no withholding taxes. Pwede ko na to i-validate. 
See, validation successful. Click on edit if you wish to modify your entry. So, wala. Then, after that, pwede ko na itong isubmit. Submit final copy. So, hindi lang natin isubmit kasi oh, wala naman akong in my COR, I don't have any expanded withholding taxes listed there. So, for example lang, for illustration purposes, if ah, uh, Tulong mo, naka-record pa ito. Yan, naka-record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, recording on this computer. Okay. So, for example, nag-click ako kanina in number 3 ng yes. Ay, number 4 ng yes. Eh, I have to edit. Sorry. Na-validate ko na kasi. If, okay. Kanina, na-validate ko na siya. Once you validate, ang grade out na yung validate portion. Edit na yung yung <clears throat> yung tab na pwede mo pang gawin. So, edit, save, print, and submit. Final copy. Um, if you have to make any changes from here, you have to click edit. So, and then if you don't have any changes to be done from all the numbers 1 to 18, then you just have to submit the final copy. And then, for example dito, for illustration purposes lang, this is really not related to no payment filing. Kasi pag no payment filing, you always choose no. So, itong any taxes with health, if you click yes, kasi na-edit na natin, no? Edit muna. You validate. Hindi mo makiklik anywhere here after validating if you don't click edit. So, you have to edit. Now, um, if you notice, after I clicked edit, then nag-activated na naman ulit. Hindi grayed out ang validate button. Now, any taxes with held in number four, we click yes. So if I validate, let's observe kung ano error message niya. Please fill up part two, tax remittance in if item four is set to yes. So it says that. So for example, lang meron naman akong amount na remit like if I have uh, um, leased um, business premises. So for example, 5% of 10,000 is 500. Gungyo. So there. And then if we validate. Yan. So pwede na tayo mag-submit. But since my illustration is for. Okay. It's for no payment filing. Then um, let's edit again. And set it to no. So, nung nag-click ako ko ulit ng no, no, wala yung amount. And then we validate. Validation successful. Pwede na ito submit So, there. That's for no payment filing or zero filing for expanded withholding taxes. Expanded withholding taxes is a complicated subject in itself. But, you know, just for the for purposes of um, filling out the form, dito muna tayo. When you find this tutorial useful, kindly subscribe to my channel. And then if you know people who would need this, please, uh, please feel free to share. Thank you. Mm. Happy listening. Hoy, happy view. Kung yo. Ay, nako. I'll have to stop recording. Stop share. And then end. End meeting for.